Hello, people. I'm going to attempt to do some ram swapping action stuff. So, what I do down here? Well, I said ram swapping, I'm just raiding this. Uh, um, yeah, Palmax G5 Adventures, you probably worked that out already. Also, I'm using this as a storage unit as well. So, not really had this one working. Yeah, this is the quad that I haven't really got working, by the way. So, I'm just getting stick one. I can't remember what's the capacity. 256 megs, so it's going to add half a ram. I'll just put it up there. Reasons you can probably work out. Um, not very much lighting, although, to be fair, it's probably... The best lighting you get for inside there, really. Without me going like downstairs or moving that lamp plus like over there, you can sort of see it behind the emac. Um, yeah. In. Yep, looks like that did the job. Look at that. Boom. Now what I do is move this on up to G3, the good old 600. Ugh. I got for like one pound something. It's like one pound. 80 would we'll say no but anyways up in here this isn't a storage using it um because it actually functions um for instance, move the stuff on top of it off of it actually because i'm gonna probably just tilt it backwards to help me i've never noticed that is that supposed to be wall in? Um, anyways, um, well, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like the cooler because that would be, you know, the cooler's at the bottom. <clears throat> oh. Out you go. Boom. And I should probably unplug this for a while. 800 cable that I've had in there for God knows how long. I will actually put it back in because I do actually need to use the install disc soon. So I will get more RAM for this, don't worry, because what if I got two gigs, I think, um, which really isn't much compared to, you know, how much I can put in. The only problem is CX it's not really had the RAM in stock, which is why um, I'm doing it like this. Why, um, why, why I'm doing this sort of. So this will have two and a half gigs of RAM if you do the maths. Hopefully it's RAM's in. This doesn't feel like it's going in, for God's sake. Um, yeah, so that's partially why, and then also my bank account has been a bit empty as of recently. Um, I, I, hopefully it won't be empty too, for too long, and I'll be able to, um, finally get my Cly PC properly up and running with the Vega 8. I don't, I really don't know what's going on there. Fingers crossed it's actually in. Okay. Um, where's the fans? It's on top of here. Upside down. Can I get in? Surprisingly, yes. Because sometimes the fan is just an absolute nightmare to get in. Oh. Oh yeah, by the way, there is a bit more stuff here than what there's supposed to be, just partially, because I was trying to see if I could get my 
Pumac G4s up and running. This one turns on, you know, but nothing happens. The other one actually chimes, which is good, but nothing pops on the display. So, yeah, let me see, I've got this. Don't worry, all things will be sorted. Um, whoops. Did I unplug it? I guess I unplugged the computer um, from power. Uh, yeah, the cable is not plugged in. I need to label this because, oh my god, <clears throat> this is a uh, problematic, let's just say. The noises don't sound particularly great, but it's chimed. There's that. I've actually got a keyboard and mouse connected. No, I don't. Um, I'll just grab these. Not the best combo, but it is what it is. It's not displaying anything. Cable should be in. Oh. Was it not properly in? Might have to reboot to see if that changed anything. I've had the swap ports. It's a bit of a nightmare with this awkward setup. Let's be real. Oh, still nothing. Uh, try this again. Hopefully, I haven't like. Oh, for God's sake, the cable's out. Err. Yeah, this setup. It'll probably get sorted when I get Clive PC up and running. Um, by the way. Um also there's an SSD there. That's probably something I should think about actually using. I'm assuming that's the one from my power book. Which is currently over there. Yeah, it would be. So no, no. What's going on? Oh, for God's sake. What's that? I, I know I need to also sort out networking because um, currently I don't really have network access. Over here, you know, none of these devices have Wi Fi, um, really. And you know, my PowerBook G4, um, which is not very convenient, and also, yeah, the Wi Fi, even in the G4, not all like networks appear. I'm very confused as to what's going on here, by the way. Is it seriously the RAM that's just making it not happy? Okay, it chimed. Anything? Anything? Yes? Yes! I should probably now plug in the keyboard and the mouse. Yeah, I would say you should probably try and get more nice permanent setups for these computers. Um, okay, same Tiger. Yeah, also this is not very convenient because of the fact that this is like nine miles away from the monitor. But theoretically, I should now have 2.5 gigs of RAM, if 
if it says 2.25, that means, well, the stick is not in. If it says 2 gigs, oh well. It's not RAM that's being used in the first place. Okay, it says 2.25 gigs of DDR2 RAM, so that's exactly what I ordered. So, boom. Uh, memory, boom. There's the RAM. Um, I did a very simple thing and I've stretched it out to 10 minutes. And also this probably won't really affect much usage on here for now until I inev inevitably get Linux on here. Which I'll probably do some point. You can probably work out that. Though, you know, as you might know, I'm not actually been successful getting Linux on these PowerPC Macs. Hopefully that changes. I think I'm just going to have to, like, buy a little pack of DVDs. Um, like, blank, you know, writable um, DVR, DVDRs or... Or I think you get like DVR, DVD RWs or something, you know, the rolls. Um, and so do I. Um, so, yeah. That was overly. Oh, me just dragging out content, basically. Don't, don't really know what else to say. I've got more RAM now. Should I, should I try this? Power Mac, there's technically it doesn't like explode or anything, although it's gonna mean I'm gonna have to put the RAM back in, which I don't really want to do. So maybe one day I'll try and revisit this Power Mac G5 quad that I've just got here, doing nothing apart from sort of a stand and a storage unit. Uh, but yeah. That's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this and goodbye.